Here we go for allotment update on the 28th of August. About half past seven at night, so the sun's setting. There's the runner beans, which have come on quite a lot. They're not as luxuriant as some other people's, but um, nevertheless, we've had quite a number of beans off them. Button up squashes. Lots of plants. Very closely. There's some actual squashes in there. Look at that. Nine or ten small ones. Which is pride and joy. The sweet corn. Got quite a few sweet corns on there. And a noisy tractor in the background hoeing. The plants aren't very high, but the corns themselves look decent quality so that's what counts I suppose. There's the red cabbages, one of those has died in the middle of the look of it. Probably been slugged. The kale is looking quite a lot healthier. And the broccoli. Just looks like a sprouting broccoli. Either that was bolted. <laughs> <coughs> There are sprouts, early days for them. There's the big boy pumpkin. That's bigger than a football. Marigolds, courgettes. We've had one or two off there. There's one that hiding. been a bit disappointing, we haven't had as many as I would hope to want it. Big boy again. Leeks. And a nice crop of horse tail, which wrecked the onions that were in there, so we've had to dig them up. I can't it was a failure. <coughs> but the, both the raised beds have been really good. I'll stop filming towards the sun. The, uh, that's a train, that's the carrots and parsnips in that one, and the beetroots which are a really nice quality in that one, with a few peppers, and there's a small crop of runner beans I've picked tonight. And there's my neighbour's plot. He's still not very well, so I'm still mowing his. There's a crop of comfrey there, which makes good compost apparently, so I won't cut it down this time. Well, there's next door's beans. Nothing to do with the water, actually. Anyway, there you go. Not too bad.